Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great episode of Catholic Chat. Joining me here today is Brother Tim, if you could introduce yourself, just uh, who you are and what year you are in college and everything like that. So I'm starting my first year in Silver Spring. Um, I am a freshman this year. I'm starting my um, major in theology as well as philosophy. Um, and I'm taking courses in sociology and Roman art and architecture and Spanish. Yeah. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. And uh, so studying here at the Catholic University of America, as you can see by his dress up over here, we've got a brother training right now. So what's it like, man? Uh, first of all, what order are you uh, in training under right now? And then what's it like to uh, be uh, balancing your path to brotherhood, but also your life as a student here at CUA? Sure. It's, um, it is a real challenge trying to balance out the schedule with uh, the friary and, and school schedule as well. Um, but my life as a brother has really impacted my classes as well. Um, ever since I became a religious, there's been just a side of me that has really uh, awakened. And so when I um, come across a situation that may be a challenge or um, you know, certain situations of life, I always approach it in a spiritual sense as well um, to kind of balance it out. Um, so it has been uh, quite a challenge balancing that out, but uh, other than that, it's, it's really been a great experience. That's very good to hear, and that's something we always try to encourage here on the channel, is no matter what your life is, whether it be as a college student or as religious, eventually married, whatever your path is, we always encourage that outlook of faith and holiness, no matter what God calls you to be, so that's very wonderful to hear. So, aside from your studies and everything like that, what type of activities or clubs are you involved in? Well, I'm getting into a um, ultimate frisbee club, actually, so it was something I really enjoyed during my high school year, and I want to continue to do that. Whether I'll do it in the habit or not, that's still a decision. Uh, but uh, I'm also uh, leading a, a Renew group for the theology majors, and so we meet once a week um, to kind of reflect on scripture, and uh, it's, it's always good to balance out the week with reflection. It's absolutely fantastic. So what is the path to brotherhood like for those of you know our viewers out there who might not be too familiar? What goes uh, into becoming a brother? Can you just elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. So it was seen as a brotherhood was more of a domestic living uh, in the olden times, but now it's kind of been refined as um, really uh, connecting with the individual. And um, it is different from the priesthood where they do um, perform many sacraments. Uh, the brotherhood, they can't really do that. but because of that, we also have time to connect and have a ministry, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one with each other. And um, that's something that our Lord has said, uh, who are my mother and my brothers? And um, those who follow the will of God, who follow scripture, are my mothers and brothers. And so our ministry is, is also just listening to people um, and, and being there for them. It's very good to hear. So now you in particular right now, what ministry are you starting to focus on? What's something you just really want to do as a brother for the community? My focus has been uh, actually on social work because I really do enjoy uh, that interaction with other people. Um, this really connects well with my sociology class, learning about the norms and cultures uh, really comes into play with this work, just really on hands-on uh, ministry. Well, that's very, very good to hear. And um, last question right now, what's your favorite part of, uh, obviously a lot of students here have a good sense of what life is on CUA campus. How about with the friars and everything like that? What's, what are some of your favorite things that uh, that community has built on and included you in? You know, I would say um, just being able to interact with all of the students on campus, uh, having them accept you as who you are, and uh, it's been a real thrill just meeting uh, different groups and, and sections. And, uh, it, it's been a real thrill. All right, that's very, very wonderful to hear. So thank you guys very much for watching another great episode of Catholic Chat. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button right there on the bottom. Thank you very much. Have a well day. God bless you. Hey guys, this is Will Deathridge. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll like and subscribe. As you can see right here, I'm involved with a variety of channels, so why don't you give them a look out right here. Uh, we got from songwriting to theology about the Catholic Church to video games, just anything really. So be sure to stop by and check out all these awesome channels. Anyways, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and God bless you.